Hello, I'm Captain Gamer, and let's play Final Fantasy VII, the Command Materia Challenge. Now I know I sort of put off going in this place, however, we have that place over there. What's in that place? I don't know. We know it's not this place. Now it is this place, and now that is that place. Proximity is a strange thing. Let's go into this place. No one's here. We'll come back later. And that's it. This has been an exciting episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII The Command of Materia Challenge. No. We are going into this place that is in the woods with all those touch me's and whatnot. The frog type guys. Let's do this. Mm hmm Looks like some woods, and up, down, left, right. That's what I was talking about with the crazy camera angles and whatnot. And just for absolutely no reason, we'll go ahead and put the protect vest on Eris. Um, the do, do, do. Power wrist on Tifa, why not? For no reason. Oh yes, and there's our silver armlet we got in that one boss fight all that time back. Uh, who needs the armlet? Vitality! Tifa has the least vitality. Huh. Who knew? So you get the silver armlet, which gives us one extra materia slot. Yay! Anyway, onward. Oh, Cloud's walking by himself. Is someone there? Uh-oh. Hey, Rude. Who do you like? What are you getting so embarrassed about? Come on! Who do you like? Tifa. Whoa-ho-ho! -ho. Intrigue. Days of our wives, or something like that. I can't come up with these things off the cuff of my head all the time, you know. Hmm. That's a tough one. But poor Elena. She... you... Mm. No, she likes Sang. I never knew that, but Sang likes that ancient... Wait, you mean Eris? Sang, you know, the one who looked exactly the same when she was, well, smaller kid? Okay. What are they talking about? It's called shipping, Cloud. You had staunch shippers back in the day. This was back when the internet was all new and stuff, and we didn't have Internet 2.0 to tell us what to think and what to hate. And, uh, Cloud, how long are you gonna stand there wondering what they're talking about when Elena's right behind you? I could just stand here all the time and not hit the X button and he still wouldn't notice. It's so stupid. Gah! And Cloud just reacts right away. They always talk about who they like or don't like, but saying is different. Ah, saying. Oh no! Yes! Get aware of the situation. They're here! They're really here! We're right there. They were spying on you, shipping. Hmm. Then it's time. Crack knuckles. Rude, don't go easy on them, even though they're girls. <laughs> um Yeah, he sure they sure talked about you, Tifa and Eris. But why is he pointing at Cloud? Don't worry. I'll do my job. Then we're counting on you. I'll report the saying. Run, 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 run. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Payback for what you did in Sector 7. Uh... Let's just be men about this. Out of our way! I don't like being taken for a fool. That's as far as you go. It's game time! All right, so we've got Rude and Reno. Let us go ahead and start by getting a sense for Reno. 
while we put up our big guard. He's level 22. 2,000 HP. Okay. And then we'll get a sense for the rude one. Uh, Cloud can't manipulate boss types. Does Reno have anything to steal? And does Rude have anything to steal? 23, 2,000. And yes, Rude does pack a mean punch. Alright, Tifa, let's give... I don't know, Rude is kind of a cool guy, so let's just focus our attacks on Reno for right now. Yeah, yup! Yeah. Okay, so... Hit him with a flamethrower. And then you use White Wind. Or I could've just gone with our Limit Break. Ho oh. ho Reno's pretty much all backed up there. Hey, let's just finish this right now. See, the White Wind didn't heal all as much. Because... Eris' HP was a little low. What ha and that about did it. We may be retreating, but we're still victorious! That makes no sense. And Rude's just like, yeah, I don't need this. Good work, everybody! Da -da -da -da. And we've got the fairy tale. What is the fairy tale? We shall see once we can actually look at him. Hey, something seems wrong. Like they knew we were coming. They followed us, but there weren't any signs of it, then that means they're ninjas! That there's a Shinra spy! Oh my word! I have... the game has now opened the floodgates for all the spy jokes in the world. Get your ambassadors and your dead ringers! We are going on a spy hunt! And your pyros. See, I even used flamethrower in the fight! It's a sign, man. I don't even want to think that there's a spy. I trust everyone. Really? Let, let, let's just get a sense for where we're at here. So... <laughs> we have Cloud. Cloud can't be the spy. We've pretty much been in his skull the entire time. Tifa, you're... Nah. Nah, you don't, you don't look the type, and, you know, you're an avalanche. You too, Barrett. I don't think any of either of you could be the spy. Eris, you are the paragon of morality in this. Despite being the most, you know, street word up member of the crew, so, nah. Anarchy, you're just too cool to be a spy. No, no way. Yuffie, mm, you are the optional character, but that's the thing. You're the optional character, so you're not plot relevant. You can't be the spy. And then there's you, Kate Sith. The one who really doesn't have the best reason to be in the group. You just sort of forced your way in. And, um... I still can't think of why you're in the group, and whenever we seem to be talking about important things, you sort of tilt your bow tie in my direction like you're doing right now. Stop that! Stop that! Anyway, as I just confirmed, there are no spies in our group. Yeah. So, we're just going to continue exploring this area, going up where Elena went. And we have... And... Oh, there's the centerpiece. And we have a what the heck is that? A heavy tank. Cloud, make a wise forward. And you missed. Boy, I totally thought you could have charmed the wits out of that thing. Alright, you level 21. You have 1600 HP. Wow. Almost as much as the bosses we just fought. And there we go. You manipulated a heavy tank. Haha, <laughs> heavy tank. Heavy is tank! Now I need to see a watch some Gmod video of that. So he can use Charge, Wheelie Attack, and Big Spiral. Neither of these, or none of these, are enemy skills. So I'm just going to use the manipulation to make it not hurt us. And let Eris use her Limit Break, so she can get her other Limit Break. And, well, let's see here. 
Let's have him use Big Spiral against himself. Whapow! That didn't do a whole lot. Alright, regular attacks, because that is how cruel we are. And as you can see, Earth Protector doesn't last for extremely long, so, uh. Just do your business about it and be quick. And that's what Big Spiral does when it's not used against itself. All three of us. And I forgot to steal from it! Her. Oh well. There will be other opportunities. Yay! Look at me go! Into the centerpiece area. Hmm. A ruined reactor. Okay, so this is what a reactor looks like. That must be what the Sector 1 and 5 reactors looked like. I think that's what we blew up. The Scarlet, Head of Shinra Weapon Development. And we're just gonna keep standing here until she walks right up to us. Or just do that. Hmm, that's some not bad hiding there, Cloud. Uh-oh, uh-oh, and ah, uh, okay. <laughs> this isn't any good either. You only get junky materia from junky reactors. This reactor's a failure. What I'm looking for is big, large, huge materia. You seen any? No, I haven't seen it. I'll get it on it right away. Oh, hi, Tseng. Please. We could make the ultimate weapon if only we had some. The ultimate weapon? Ah, oh, come on. My joke for that just completely flew out the window. I just can't wait. With Hojo gone, the weapons development's been getting a bigger budget. I envy them. But even if we make the perfect weapon, could that stupid Heidegger even use it? Mm, dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 six dots. Oh, sorry. I forgot Heidegger was your boss. <laughs> More dots. Let's go. Big, large, huge materia? The ultimate weapon, the perfect weapon? Yes, what are the Shinra up to? I don't know, Cloud. And I'm not just saying that. Actually, I am just saying that. Helicopter graphics! Yes! Alright, let's see what we've got here. Junky material. Ah! Heavy is tank! It is stealing time! And then he does wheelie attack on Cloud. And you got a Phoenix down! Yes! I finally have a Phoenix down to replace the one that I used reviving you, Eris! Yeah, Eris. Remember that time you died from a furry woodland creature who used an utterly broken attack that completely worked as intended? Yeah, well, now we got the Phoenix down back. Good going, Tifa. Alright, so, back to the reactor. There's something shiny back there. Cloud, this is a video game. Do we ever leave behind anything that's shiny unless it's an obvious trap? And, you know, you have to reach into a hole for it, so it probably is a trap. Do it, Cloud. Received Titan Materia. That doesn't sound so junky to me. Alright, so... The Titan Materia is an Earth Elemental Materia that summons Titan. And for some reason, I have to bring up the fact that in Final Fantasy V, Titan looks like Colin Mockery. Seriously, take a look at him. But for now... Titan is a summon materia, not welcome in this mi uh, playthrough. However, if it's for if it's any consolation, Titan, you are not junky to me. In fact, you're so junky that you don't even need to prove it. Go to the live stream, go with your wife and kids, and uh, say hi to Ryan Styles for me. Excellently done, Cloud. So, nothing else over here. Let us continue onward. Onward. Word up on the onward. And everybody's HP is not optimal. So, potion showers for all. Yeah. 
That's an HP ought to do. Calming. Man, world map music. We go over here to find nothing else except whoops. Whoa, ho, ho, this guy is this guy. He is a Kimara bug, and Cloud cannot manipulate it if he is frozen. It's level 19 has 700 HP, and it seems to have used up five of its MP using that stopping thing, and it has something to steal. Uh, Cloud, hang tight. It's not like you're aware of yourself, or he'll just break out of the web. Why not? Cloud, manipulate that bug. Fantastic. And it has a spider web. Spider web. <laughs> spider web is an item that does the exact same thing that uh, the Kamara bug did to Cloud. It casts stop on enemies. Which just may come in handy a little later on. What am I talking about? I don't know. Deathblow materia. This is a very nice piece of materia. And this gives Tifa a few more options. So I will just slap the Deathblow in place of the sense. And there we go. Deathblow! Remember in the last episode when I said I could turn Tifa into a wrecking ball? Well, Deathblow is part of that, but what is up here first? Oh, it is a town! With a graveyard up front. Hmm. No matter how much I pray, it won't bring our grandson back. And we're back into the themes of... sadness. So... disheartening. Three years ago, when the reactor exploded, my husband... Yeah, I don't think we want to hear the... Grim details of that! Yes, that's where we just were, Cloud. A ruined reactor. Yes, Cloud, it's not that big of a surprise. In here we go! And it appears to be some sort of... Shop. What, uh, you want something? I want to hear a story. We voted to outlaw the use of Mako Energy and live with nature ever since the explosion. Mm, I think we can all uh, get what they're implying, what happened here. So, we've got accessories here, and I like having one of everything, so there we go. Oop, we have some crazy new materia. Mystify is, uh, mm, I'm not entirely sure. It uses Mystify magic. I think that's the, um, materia that casts, um, charm, I believe? Because I think we already encountered the confusion and berserk materia. Uh, time! That casts all the time-related stuff, like stop, haste, slow, whatever, uh, heal magic, and trans transform magic does the, um, things like toad and mini. And heal, I believe we already did that. That cures the, uh, status effects, depending on the level. Mystify, mystify. Uh, ha, <laughs> ha. Uh, if I were to open up a Wikipedia window, it will just crash the entire thing. And it's not as if this recording is already of low quality, her, her, her. Uh, you want something? Let's hear your story. Shinra built the reactor without even thinking about the town's safety, and this is the result. Yep. Let's buy some weapons, shall we? We have the Hard Edge, Grand Glove, Atomic Scissors. What is with everything being things we've already bought or replaced or stole? That's what I'm thinking, stole. And in case we desperately wanted to replenish our boomerang supply, there we go. Let's see, Impaler changes one opponent into a frog, he uses many fire damage, but we are not we are not people who use items in fights, except for that time when we unloaded our grenades into that one boss guy. You know who I'm talking about. 
You know who I'm talking about. Hello. Ah, need something? Let's hear your story. It's been a while since the explosion, but you can still find pieces of it all over the town. Treasure chest! Um... I'm going to invoke my right as a, an RPG ma main character. X-Potion! Fantastically done, Cloud. And one of these days, I'm going to go ahead and sort my items again. Because that's been on the back of my mind. I go crazy when my items are not sorted. Oh, main character coming through. White Megaphone. That's for Kate Sith, and I can't check the stats on it right now. Er, ah, uh, come on, you're a drawer. And those stairs are destroyed? This is Gungaga Village. Many people died here in a Mako Reactor explosion. And... Oh, the Shinra people told us that everyone would be happy once the reactor was built. But all it brought us was sadness. Sadness flavored jello. Why would I say that? This is serious. Okay, and we've got a house over here. What do you have to say or sell? Oh, you're at a shop? Let's hear your story. One day, there was a huge explosion. Many townspeople died in it. You know... You people are just not good to have at parties. And the item spread, just the usual stuff. Last house. I'm sure nothing will be here. Oh, the ladies are out. You a traveler? Hey, wait, that glare in your eye. You and soldier. And once again, clouds make a wise make their fantastic return. Oh, you're right. Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zack. That's right. I'm pausing for you, people. It's been close to ten years since he left for that city, saying he didn't want to live in the country. He left saying he's going to join Soldier. You ever hear of a Zack in Soldier? Hmm... I don't know. Zack... Young lady, do you know him? I remember he wrote us six or seven years ago, saying that he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? That can't... Mm. Zack... Okay, even Tifa has some stake in this Zack guy. What happened to you two? Hmm. Have you ever met someone who's older named Zack? Can't believe he hasn't contacted us in ten years. After all, we're his parents. You think he died or something? Okay. Tifa and Eris, you two look like you're in some heavy pain there, so I'm just going to leave you two to your thoughts or something. Yeah, that's. No, that was mean of me. Okay. Oh, they're not out there anymore. Huh. Where did you two go? Oh, oh, hi, Eris, Tifa, back in the party, and, uh, you're looking at me as if you want to hurt Cloud again. Yeah. I think I did the wrong thing. I'm not gonna hear the end of this, am I? Okay. You all have the internet! Do some independent study! Come on! You two could probably look on your iPhones and see... and just look up Cloud and look up Zack's Facebook or something. He's probably talking about his wild adventures. Wherever he is. And I am not sure if I have different encounters going on in this area on the beach. Nope! Just some more, our old friend, the Beach Plugs. We should make a cool band name, now that I think about it. Okay, I guess I can just move on. Oh. Ooh, and we have Grand Horn. Not Commander or... Gra not Commander Grand Horn, but just the regular old Grand Horn. 
He's level 19, has 460 HP, and I can't be bothered to remember uh, how much HP uh, Commander Shepard Grandhorn had. So we're just gonna whoop on him, like that. Just as easy to defeat as your Commander Shepard form. See? You're... You can't be as awesome as Commander Shepard without actually being Commander Shepard. Alright, now we're on this side, and it seems to have suddenly become evening. Even though I wasn't under the impression that there was progression of time on the world map. Unless it was relevant to the plot. Oh, we just the same old, same old enemies. Cloud, let's have some matcha magic our way. And quickly! We are stealing from you this time. Mr. Guy. Cloud probably could have manipulated it so it didn't use... Oh wait, I'd have to... Get rid of the touch-me's first. So, let's get rid of those touch-me's. So we can safely... Manipulate Gagi Handi here. Yes, you like turning people into stone, but we don't like that. And Cloud has Mega Wise. And you steal! Haha! There we go! Now we can finally have the Gagi Handi. Yep, he has a soft. How about that? Now then, use Stone Stair on yourself! Let's see if this even works. I, I honestly don't know if this works. And it did work! So everybody, sit back, uh, enjoy a nice little white wind display, and let's just see what the heck happens. I have never, ever, ever petrified an enemy in Final Fantasy VII before this. Oh, we are cruel, cruel people. Cloud, your Mako eyes are the soldiers of destruction. Five, four, three, two, one, you fail! <laughs> and he doesn't even die, he just stands there. And now people are going to be wandering through this area going, Oh, that's an interesting Gagi Handi statue. Oh, and all of a sudden it's daytime again. And it's evening again. Time goes faster here than in Legend of Zelda. Next up, we've got these guys. Sa a sand gun. These are... Desert Sahagins. Interesting. I believe we encountered the not desert Sahagins in the Sector 5 sewers. And instead of using Water Gun, they used that other attack. They are level 20, they have 580, and they are weak to go to cold, and they are weak to punch. Um... Nope, does anybody have a pitcher or something? No, nope. punch. Teehee. Hatcher Magic does good damage against them. Sand Gun, that's what they use. Instead of Water Gun, they use Sand Gun. Tragically, not a Pokémon reference. Get hopping on it, Nintendo. Generation 6, Sand Gun. Uh-oh, and now the Sahagin is turtling up, so to speak. So, I'm just gonna have to use my back burner on you. That Sahagin is a spa! But it does take damage from magic. And for some reason, you just can't stop using Sand Gun. And you are turtling like an engineer. You are at Turtle is a spa. Let's just boomerang your face off. Bonk! Oh! Look at that! You know what you've just earned? A tactical nuke! Overkill! You are dead. Not big surprise.
Ha ha ha! Team Fortress 2 references abound. I've got to stop watching Gary's mod videos.